my question for Mr. Robertson is, what is behind your exceptional talent to identify hedge fund managers? We have worked with a large number of very successful and well-run hedge funds over the years. And there are certain uh, traits that a lot of these people have. And um, we have put all of that information into a test that we give uh, budding new hedge funds. And um, we think it, uh, it gives us a good picture of whether or not someone will fail or not. Sort of simplifying it, um, the test will test their honesty, it will test uh, their intelligence, um, it will test their ability to get along with their co-workers, um, and um, it may give us some inkling into the competitiveness of the person because we found that uh, competitors are usually better hedge fund managers. That's a process that you probably developed over time, right? But can you maybe recall a moment when you started out and you discovered, you know, one of your first cups, one of your first talents? What is it that, you know, spiked your confidence? The truth of the matter is that um, I was quite fortunate. Um, when we decided to shut down Tiger, and, and, and the, the, the hedge fund which I ran. Um, and it was time for me to do that. Um, I thought, well, here's this wonderful office space, and here I am at age 70. I don't want to go to, from age 70 to age Methuselah. And so I persuaded three of our most successful uh, young analysts to stay with us, and we seeded them, and they were the first seeds. Um, two of the three were huge successes, far more than I, well, the third one, which wasn't nearly as successful as first two, it's probably three times as successful as I would have expected any of them to be. A lot of those Tiger Cubs not only you know are great traders, they also set up, managed to set up a sustainable business. A large operations have hundreds of employees and then other traders. Did you also teach them how to run a business? I helped them a little bit, the ones that are working with us um, here in the seated. Yes. Uh, there, there's some confusion uh, between the tiger cubs and the tiger seeds. I mean, tiger seeds yes. are people that we have backed, and, um, and we have a small piece of the, yes. uh, of the company. Um, and the uh, tiger cubs, most of them uh, just went out on their own, having worked with me at Tiger. What do you think does it take today to be a hedge fund manager and to be successful? Well, I think um, that one, you have to be absolutely Simon Pure honest. Two, you have to be intelligent. And um, three, the competitiveness and the ability to get along with a team is extremely important. And uh, uh, I can go beyond that. I think uh, uh, that there is something strange in that the makeup of most hedge fund people, successful ones, the, the, the person has a real interest in making this world a little bit better than it was when they got into it. Um, but um, I don't want to promote the business that much, 
but I, I, I definitely feel that that's the case. Yes. We have a thing here called uh, the Tiger Foundation, and it's become a terrific alumni association for the people who used to work here and moved on, and it's become a great new thing for the new Tiger Seeds, which as you point out, number now in the 40s. Yeah. Let's talk quickly about another thing that um, I know is really dear to your heart is you, you have some of the most fantastic golf courses on the planet and uh, your own beautiful resorts. I, I think this is something that you are proud of. Maybe you want to share something with us. Um, what's your vision in, in building all that? Certainly also here you're contributing to making this world a better place. Tell us a little bit more about that if you would. My wife and I kind of dropped out and went down to New Zealand in 1978-9 and um, uh, we came back with another child we hadn't expected to have made in New Zealand and um, we fell for the country kind of hook, line and sinker and um, I never went back until 95 and then we went, I went back and bought a beautiful uh, sheep farm in far north from Missouri. And um, once I realized what I had, I just thought I had to do something with it. And uh, we turned it into a golf course, and um, part of it into a golf course. And um, uh, it got great acclaim, and then we did it with a another special piece of land then in Hawks Bay. Uh, we, we built another golf course. And um, I'm delighted to say that uh, one of them is in the top uh, 35 in the world and uh, one's in the top uh, 65. And uh, that's really uh, uh, almost unbelievable that they would be. You see, um, most of the be greatest golf courses are literally older than I am. And to have these two relatively brand new golf courses um, picked among the best in the world, special, um, was very special to me. Yeah. Mr. Robertson, I thank you for the time and um, I wish you all the best. Well, and Matthias, come to see us in New Zealand. We'd love to have you there. Okay, uh, great. The courses are a lot of fun.